Now, the one thing I wanted to point out is because I did such a good job of painting this and cleaning this edge off, now you can see why I didn't want to have any paint on the edge of this and, and how I, I, I took my time on here cleaning this, uh, cleaning the old paint off and then putting the new paint on and then cleaning off any little excess of the paint because I actually sealed this on the first coat too. Lots of times uh, guys when they seal uh, shower walls and stuff, maybe they just uh, slop the sealer on and they just go to here. They think, ah, that's good enough. Well, when you put the sealer on, you'll notice that when you put the sealer on your grout, your grout's going to change the color. This is the actual color of the grout when it's wet. Okay? And so, if I would have stopped this sealer right here, this whole grout line would have been a light color. I didn't want that. So I actually had to cut this in too. And when I cut it in, see how nice that looks? Doesn't that look professional? You know, here it is, an average Joe doing this on my own, saving the money. Saving the money from paying a painter to do all this. And I got up there along there. And so when you stand back, all of the grout lines look the same. Okay, even along the wall here, see? The grout lines are that nice dark color because I took the time and cut in around there. I had to cut in, I had to cut in everywhere, and I'll show I'll show you how to cut in and stuff on this next uh, video, or I might even attach some of it to here. But see, even even the top edge of here. See, I wanted I, I wanted to make sure I didn't have any paint excess of the new paint on here or the old paint on that top grout line because I cut in that sealer right to there. Doesn't that, doesn't that look nice all the way along the top edge of that tile? That's how you want it. That looks professional, doesn't it? Look, I even, I even went the extra mile. I did, I did the top edge of the tile the grout right around the toilet underneath and around the toilet and around the edge and down in there. Everywhere. I've got that sealer, okay? And... I did a good job right up against the cabinet and that little tile edge. Yes, of course I've got grout or I've got sealer on the top edge of that and down there. I've got the I've got the sealer all the way tight to the to the carpet. I even had to kind of pull this back to make sure I got that whole edge. And see, just a few little pieces right there sticking because it was just the other day that I did that. So you know, that's all you gotta do. Get that stuff all out of there. And and then I did, uh, of course, yes. I got that little piece of tile right there. And I got, I even got the, uh, the grout on the top edge of that. And I also, on this floor, um, see I've got an air conditioning, heating air conditioning register that's on the floor instead of the ceiling. I thought I was gonna just cut around that. Initially, I just pulled it out and did it around there, but I put it back in. I just put it back in Right now as we speak because once I get out and have this set there down here I don't want to trip down into that hole or anything like that I'll pull that back up when I get ready to do this floor. Of course this floor I'm going to do last You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up in here and do this. How, how do you do this whole thing? step by step one little tile at a time and yeah that's all I used. That paintbrush right there. Now, if you've ever watched any of my other videos where I show you how to seal um, tile or stone walls, uh, shower surrounds, shower floors, uh, tile, bathroom floors, stone tile, uh, bathroom floors, kitchen floors, and all that kind of stuff, usually I just I cut in everything with it with a brush you know that three inch brush or a four inch brush and then I'll do the rest with a mini roller a four inch mini roller with uh, with a little uh, extension pole and a foam roller four inch roller but I, I'm not going to do that here because when I did that it was tile walls and the shower and the shower floor it went all the way down so if I dripped anything off the walls onto the floor, it went right down on the shower f floor, 
which was going to be sealed anyways. And it was a no-brainer. Use that. Use the mini roller. Well, here, I was going to use the mini roller after I cut in everything with the uh, paintbrush. And I thought, well, you know what? There's not much more to it. Plus, I don't want to get drips all over this tub. And so, um, I just left it. And, and see, here's one little spot right there where I dripped. And I'll be able to, I'll be able to clean that. Here, let's see, let's see here. See, that, that, that will come up. That stuff will come up when I get all done. And what I'll end up doing is, and I, I can see where some remnants of it is. Right, right here, see? From the first coat. There's, there's a little bit more there. And um, here I can feel a little bit right in there. But I, di I did a pretty good job. And... You know, I thought if some of it, if some of it gets on there, then no problem. I'll wait, I'll wait until I do the second coat and then I'll clean all that off with a razor blade. And it'll, it'll come off with a razor blade just fine. It'll look just fine. No matter what you do when you seal these, whether or not you use a four inch uh, paintbrush, three inch paintbrush, whatever you do, eventually it's gonna sag and slide down and it's gonna run off and it's gonna puddle up on this edge of the tub. And I did the best I could. Like I said, I didn't really get too much on there. This, this here was because um, after I sealed everything, you just get a little bit of it running down and pulling up down there at the bottom, no matter what you do. I mean, I, I sealed it and I, I could come back uh, a few minutes later, hit, hit the bottom tile. It's still, you're still gonna get some on there because because it's just the nature of the beast. So, you know, I'm not really worried about that. I'm gonna, I'll clean that up with my, with my, uh, my razor blade when I get done with this whole project. And so, I, like I said, I did everything, believe it or not, I did everything with that three inch brush. And I, if I had a four inch brush, I would have used a four inch brush, but I didn't. And the bathroom is small enough where hey you want to use this three inch brush fine that's all that you're going to need to do this entire project even if you've never sealed floors before if you've never sealed walls before you have to get a big old roller to, to, to do this no because most of it is cut in anyways there's not that many fall tiles in here right and when you start doing it with with the uh, with the paintbrush you just con you just concentrate on a certain area and before you come out further and then on the full tiles one tile at a time making sure that you get all of your of your joints that's really important to get all of your grout lines both directions and cut in properly and doing everything else I cut in around that cut in around that cut in cut in around the the handle the shower uh, the shower head you just pull you just pull the trim away. See that little sketch and trim? I just pulled it away like that so I could cut that in and do it like that. Okay? So hey, you wanna save some money or you wanna you wanna make your bathroom look nice, redo the whole thing. Because if you've been watching my videos, I don't know if you have been watching them or not, but I've redone this whole bathroom. I put I put two coats of finish paint up here, white uh, finish paint. And semi gloss and this this uh, ceiling was tan before the walls were tan too this just makes it look a little bit nicer a little bit different and uh, everything out here was all tan too and the ceilings were even tan and now I painted those white and I painted everything else the uh, this grayish color is called uh, double click if, if you like this color it's called double click believe it or not see this here is the same color as that over there. It's just when you get shadow lines on here, it picks up all different kinds of colors, doesn't it? But all the walls are the same color. And so I thought I would continue that on into the bathroom. And that's what I ended up doing. I took the light fixture down, the mirror down, um, painted everything, cleaned, cleaned that uh, exhaust fan, trim, took that down, cleaned it all, took this door down, took the door down to get it out of here 
And I've made all those videos and I've got those on my channel. Okay, just go to uh, my main YouTube channel page, click on playlists, and then go down to painting. And all of my painting videos will be there. Okay? And when I get, when I was right in the middle of this, you might have thought, oh, does he really know what he's doing? It doesn't, I'm not sure if he knows how to cut this all in right and do all this and get all the paint off of the, off of the grout lines and how's he going to do that? He even masked, I even put masking tape on there, but then the paint went down on the inside of that because of the grout was right there and there's no way, I don't care what color masking tape you put, you're not going to get it perfectly. So then you spend the extra time, spend the extra time and cleaning everything, you know, your paint excess off and then cut in and check everything again and then clean off any excess and that's what I ended up having to do for these grout lines to look so nice up next to this painted edge. New paint up to the existing grout. Doesn't that look good? Looks a lot better than it did, let me tell you. When you look at it back here, that, that really looks good. Looks like a professional painter did that. Well, I'm not a professional painter and you're not either. That's why I make these videos so that you can watch these videos so you can see that if I can do it in Average Joe, yes, of course you can do it too. It doesn't, this, doesn't this bathroom look very nice? Okay, and so I thought, once I get done with this painting and everything, am I gonna call this bathroom good? No, I'm gonna do the extra and clean the tiles, clean the baseboard, clean the, the uh, tower, the tub and shower, surround, tiles, and then actually seal them. And so that's why I decided to put uh, the coat of sealer on here, and now I'm going to put the second coat of sealer on here. And then when I get all done with that, who knows what I'll do next. I'll, I still have to get some hard water marks off of this glass. I'll make a different video of that. I made, a, I, I made one video on that already, but um, showing you how to clean it and if a razor blade would work. And I've got two other ways, two, two other uh, possible ways to, to clean off the, uh, the hard water marks on windows and doors. See all this right here? You can, I'm, I'm sure you can see that. See, I cleaned, I cleaned this, this one. Um, right to that edge, using a razor blade coming this way, stopping right there so that you could see the difference between the hard water marks and using a razor blade. But you can't use a razor blade on everything. You know, this, these were hard water marks that were really thick. And in other areas where it wasn't as profoundly thick, it's just had a haze on there. I would have thought the razor blade would have worked real good on there. Well, I kept going and going and going and going, and finally I was getting I was getting it off. I could probably do all of the window uh, glass that way uh, on the shower tub enclosure. But hey, I'm gonna try two other methods first. Okay. So, anyways, hey, back at it I go, sealing this floor using this sealer right here and trust me if I can do this you can do it too it cracks me up too lots of times I don't plan on making as many video clips of certain things until I start getting into it and so you're in luck you, you never know what I'm gonna say or what I'm gonna do next when I make a video and uh, here I go Okay, I just used this the other day. I'm just gonna shake it a little and oh on this on this sealer, you go to the store, they've got all they got all kinds of sealers. Um, you can you can look in the tile departments of uh, hardware stores and they, and they may have some going up to 80, 90 dollars a gallon. And I, I've seen a cork for uh, $34.95. $34.95 for a quart? No, just use, just use something like this. Okay, the stuff that I was showing you, that's exactly what it's for. Interior, and I believe this is only for interior. I forget, but um, you, don't, you don't need interior. 
Oh, no, I'm wrong. It says interior and exterior right on the, right on the front of that. And uh, I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. And I'm not going to pour in a whole lot. Okay, just, just that much. And um, um, as you can see, it's white. Well, it goes on kind of white, kind of opaque, and then it dries clear. And that's, that's why I didn't want to put it in that little bucket. Uh, because this way I can, when I get up there, I'm just going to dip in a little bit at a time. I'm not going to try to saturate this. This is a throwaway paintbrush. And I'm not going to wreck a really good paintbrush that I have. And this is all I need. But I don't have to saturate this too much because I'm only going to do a little bit at a time. Right? There's only so much you want to put on your job at any one time because I'm, I'm doing these tile walls in the, in the uh, tub enclosure. Okay, so first off, remember I told you I was going to use this? Well, I'm just going to have to let it uh, kind of work its way on here a little bit. And it'll, it'll get flexible after, after just a little bit. Um, the first time I used sealer, I was going to throw away my paintbrush. And the next day I thought, oh man, do I, I wanna have to, I'm going to have to buy a new paintbrush every time I get ready to, to seal floors and the walls. And then I started using one and it flexed right back up because it just, it's just the sealer, reactivating the sealer that's hard on my paintbrush. Okay, and it's still, it's still hard, but it, it'll, it, it will soften up here once I get going. Okay, so step by step. Hey, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How do you paint this floor and the shower tub enclosure? One step at a time. Let's do it.